My name is Jean de Bale, one of the Order of the Knights Templar. In this bitter winter of 1198, it has been eight years since I departed from France, leaving behind my land, my castle, and more importantly, my family. I often wonder what possessed me to follow Richard the Lionheart to this place. In those days, he was a charismatic and enthusiastic young king. I suppose, like many others, that I was moved by his conception of the Holy Land and the promise of unconditional redemption. But the Holy Land didn't look much like the young king's vision. And the redemption we were guaranteed always felt just out of reach. However, even if this crusade didn't keep its promises, I did manage to catch a glimpse of what I sought. Liberation. Liberation for me, and my bloodline. John, it won't be long before overrun. Too many have already breached the Crocs' fortifications. I warned them, Martin. This is a mighty fortress, but it's hardly impenetrable. Today the sons of Saladin shall succeed, where their fathers failed for many years. Nevertheless, this fortress is of little importance. Do you have it with you? Why else would I have sought you out amidst this havoc? Here, take it. I know it will find greater purpose in your hands than in mine. I will do my best to lead these soldiers until there are none to lead. You must continue our quest. Leave at once. Martin. You know I cannot leave you behind. Our code forbids it. Moreover, you need to see this through, just as much as I do. United, we cannot fail. Don't be a fool, Jean. It is my duty and mine alone to stay and command the men. As for you, I know you will succeed in our mission. You honor your tunic more than any Templar. Take the underpass to the southeast. Saladin's men have not attacked that wall yet. It shouldn't be difficult for one man to escape. Thank you, Martin. I will find salvation for us both, as well as my son. If your son inherited half the qualities of his father, he is beyond any doubt worthy of salvation. Go with God, old friend. Farewell. No, Martin. We shall meet again. In France. As I am not yet redeemed. The flames of hell shall bless my blade! I take us now to where our story begins. Thousands of miles away, in the kingdom of France, my family awaits my return. Or should I say, what's left of my family? 
When I departed for Jerusalem, my brother, cursed be his name, laid false claim to my lands and castle. The only treasure he could not steal was my son, Dez. If he walks proudly, it is because he bears the colors and the cross of the Knights Templar. This tunic is to him all that is left of me. My heirloom, in a way. On this February evening in the year 1199, my quest remains unfinished. As for Dens, his is about to begin. What happened here, gentle sir? Why must God always persecute the weak? That has nothing to do with God, old man. Who are these men? The devil's fiends. That's... who? But as fate would have it, there is another hero who would be impossible to forget. His name is Esteban Noviembre, a Spaniard twice my son's age. He's a clever, mostly dependable man, but at the moment, how his destiny will intertwine with my son's is the furthest thing from his mind. He also has a particular gift, both getting into and out of trouble. Ah, Esteban! Tracking you these last three days has finally paid off! How far did you think you'd get carrying our share of the loot? You lawless bastard! You better still have it! Right you are, hombre. I am lawless. And your share weighs uncomfortably in my pockets. I am concerned. Will I be able to carry what's left in your purses? Unfortunately, my son has always been equally as gifted at finding trouble. The village is empty, Lord de Mafra. <laughs> Hardly worth drawing our blade. Excellent, Bardois. And the church? Unspoiled. It's just over that way, my lord. Well, what do we have here? A Templar? Did you get lost on your way to the Crusade, noble boy? Templars? Ha! <laughs> They're priests with pretty tunics. I bet he wields that sword no better than a farmer. Still think Templars are priests and farmers? I'll consider this training for the Crusades. This Templar's blade is mightier than five of yours. Denz is a talented swordsman who has never let fear best him in a fight. Perhaps that stems from the burden he bears. The Templar's curse. It is a terrible topic that in the coming days will shape his future. Denz the Bell. I have come to take you. You again? Will you never leave me in peace? Be gone, Wraith! Damned one. I will have you follow me to hell. Come closer, and we'll see. Fantasmas! 
¡Veo fantasmas! I am nothing as simple as a phantom. You have spilled blood. It is time to atone for your sins. And I have come to collect. You're... You're just a nightmare. It's going to stop. Just like the other times. I only need to find somewhere to come to my senses. Not now. It is not my time yet. If I take lives, I do so for justice. To struggle is futile. I am death. I am everywhere. I am always. When I am sent to claim his soul in his name, I take it. None escape. Unfortunately for you, I know where my soul will be out of reach. I told you already. My time hasn't come yet. This is hallowed ground, a threshold you cannot cross. You will not take me this day, O oh Death. I told you, I am everywhere. I am always. Time matters not. One day, you won't escape me. I need only one moment to claim your soul. It's not my time. At the very least, I have a safe place to spend the night. It's only a nightmare. Just a nightmare. What a realistic nightmare. But, did I really fall asleep in a church? <laughs>